Okay, guys, I'm now at the points of the formal and I give it a clean up. Although it doesn't look too bad, it actually looks very good. But I see something strange I will show you now. Let me just clean it up further. Okay, guys, <clears throat> I'm going to put the cap back. There is actually nothing strange inside. Everything is actually very fine. The point is nice and clean. If it, if it was not, it is now. I just need to get this thing right on, otherwise the timing will be out. Okay, something like that. Okay, I'm gonna screw it together. Okay guys, I uh, managed to get something right. Maybe it's got to do with uh, points. You can see I've got my multimeter connected to the positive. Okay, it must not connect to the body somewhere. Okay, that is plastic, that's fine. Okay, so uh, previously before I started, if I uh, with a with a positive on the positive terminal and I could take my negative which is now there to the body negative to the body and you see there's no resistance I'm tapping on on the body now and before that if I do that it was a dead short so maybe I do something right so what I'm going to do is, I think you guys that uh, had the electricals in mind might be right. So I'm going to clean in any case the bowl quickly. And then we can see if we have smoke before we touch the carburetor. Righto. Okay, let me take you along with this one. My hand might be in the way for a while <sighs> sorry for that just want to get this nut loose here at the bottom okay I've got it so let's see how many water is in here Oh, guys, this is a big mess. I will quickly clean the outside so that we can see how many water is in. Just a moment. I'm going to put you down and pause. Okay, guys, there it is. Let's move it a little bit. So you can see all that stuff that you see there is inside. This is all dirt and there's stuff on top. So I think the water level is here. Okay, so I'm going to throw it out. It might be higher. Let me let me do this so that we can see. I know I'm waist, wasting now. It's just a little bit to see. Where is the water level? Okay, I think that the bottom side is what is water. Okay, I'll clean it up quickly. Okay guys, there we have a clean bowl. Let's see at the fuel that come in. If there's any water, that is all fuel, guys. That is the color of our fuel. That looks much better. I opened the carburetor as well now, so that uh, it can fill up here. 
and I'll show you now with the carburetor when the clean fuel come out there let it just fill up maybe there's leak as well Okay, it's full. Let's see here. Uh, when you come out there. It should be any time. Okay, there we have clean fuel. Okay, I think what we can do now is close here. I'm going to close up there and then I'm going to get the battery and see if the points clean and the bowl clean does anything for us okay I'll bring it back guys okay guys morning uh, it's now the next day and as you've seen I cleaned up this, the points and there was no fire whatsoever and um, I put this morning the battery on the tractor and then I move manually move the points up and down and there was basically no spark and I discovered the battery is depleted so I am uh, charging it up now and hopefully we will have spark on this on the points and we have a chance to start the tractor okay guys um, the battery is now fully charged and um, I still have zero fire on the points and what I discovered is when I put the positive on this um, resistor actually becomes red hot uh, at the backside and starts smoking and I removed the the this from, from the body, the coil from the body, so it touched no, uh, nowhere because I also disconnected the condenser and still if I put the positive now on there's still the resistor become red hot so I'm going to put this on test I suspect the coil is uh, burnt up guys because um, it's definitely a short inside the coil so let's see and go to the workshop with a coil and then uh, you can maybe help me out to test it but further everything is fine I've checked everything all around okay let's go to the workshop okay guys <clears throat> I hope you can see my meter I just want to move it up a little bit so that you can see there I did calibrate it okay I'm going to measure now you will not see this but I from the center of the coil to the negative this is the ohms that I get and it's I have it on R times 100 so memorize that for me and then I'm going to put now it on the positive and this is what I get basically exactly the same that's now from the center of the coil to the negative and positive uh, outputs now I'm going to measure from the negative to the positive and it go over so I'm going to put it now on R1 I'm not sure if that tell you something already that's now from positive to negative it still go right through the range okay now there I've got it better this is what we got this is now R1 so it gave, give us full 4k is that right so my question is guys this is what I get out of the coil does that sound correct for you 
I've got a feeling the primary and secondary calls must give different um, uh, outputs. So let's let me go from the positive to the ground, which is the mounting plate. I'm putting my negative on the mounting plate of what you, where you put it on the tractor, and I'm going to put my positive lead on the positive of the coil. And I get nothing. And on the negative. Okay, so that is totally sealed off. Okay, it will be because it's not connected to any coil. Um, okay, that's that, guys. Can you tell me anything about this on a coil? Is that correct or not? I still have a suspicion that the wire going from the, from the points inside the distributor going out to the positive of the coil, it seems if there can be a short in that little path of that uh, wire going out of the distributor. Uh, there might be a pr problem as well. But what did you think of this coil? Let me know in the comment section for the electronic guys. And I will hear from you and we take it from there. Thanks, my friends. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.